The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the technique for administering a session of TDCS using primary motor cortex stimulation as an example. This is accomplished by first measuring the subject's head and marking the sites of stimulation. The second step of the procedure is to prepare the electrodes using the size and type appropriate for your experiment. The third step of the procedure is to place the electrodes properly on the chosen site of stimulation. The final step is to determine electrode contact, the polarity of stimulation, and to set the stimulation device settings, such as intensity and duration. Different electrode montages can vary the effects of TDCS. For example, whether cortical excitability is increased or decreased is dependent on stimulation polarity as well as other stimulation parameters. Now, the main advantage of TDCS is that this method, as compared to other methods of brain stimulation, such as transcranial magnetic stimulation, and also more invasive methods of brain stimulation, such as deep brain stimulation, is that TDCS is non-invasive, is safe, is non-expensive, and simple to conduct. Also, TDCS has an important feature, as it induces a change in neuronal membrane threshold, so it results in an increase or decrease in neuronal firing. The applications of this technique extend toward therapy of various forms of chronic pain. There is now solid evidence that modulation of excitability in the motor cortex leads to pain alleviation. Though TDCS provides insights into new therapeutic mechanisms for chronic pain, when applied to other cortical regions, including the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, this technique can also ameliorate neuropsychiatric disorders such as depression and cognitive dysfunction. Generally, individuals